Hello? Colin, we have a job for you. I told you, I'm out of the game. It's a big one, it's the SSA Arena in Belfast. Listen, I've already done five sold out shows at the SSA Arena. Would a sixth show not be overkill? Colin, give the people what they want. Fair enough. I'm on my way. Ah! Get us. I've never heard of you. Mate, I've done the SSA about five times for fuck's sake. Oh, why? You're the one who wears the hats and all? Yes. The beardy one? Well, kinda, yeah. Aye, the big fat baldy bastard. Mate, just take your dick out of your hand and open the fucking door. Jesus Christ. Ha <laughs> ha what a bitch. Podcast with Colin Jettis. Right about you, I want you to get yourself and your soul together. This man will make your liver quiver. This man will make your bladder splatter. Let's all welcome the world's godfather soul. Colin Jettis. Uh, it's Gettis, actually. Jettis. Gettis. Jettis. 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 Fuck you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the General Banter Podcast. Uh, today, the, when's this going out? This is, I can't remember the date it's going out. Probably, it'll probably be... It'll probably be uh? Fourth. Fourth of July? Yeah. Oh my God. Happy Fourth of July. <laughs> Guys, hold on a second. <laughs> What's, what, what, are we, what are they called? Star Spastic... What are they called? Star Spangled Banner? I'm going to do the full Joey Diaz here. Star Spangled... America probably have copyright on that, do they? Oh, I. You can't oh, play goddamn Star Spangled <laughs> Banner. I'll sue you to death, bitch. Um, happy July, Fourth of July, all my American listeners. Yeehaw! Have, have a great year. <laughs> Many happy returns. May all your children be slaughtered in schools. May you get so fat you run out of seatbelt adjustments on a plane. <laughs> if it doesn't hit a building. Uh, listen, enjoy the barbecue. I love everything American. Do you like American things, Maureen? Yeah. Yeah, Maureen likes French fries. <laughs> <laughs> no, in all seriousness, no shout out to America because they pretty much invented stand up, didn't they? Very American thing. Oh. Stand up. My guest today is my wife, Maureen, my influencer wife, Maureen. Hello. <laughs> what are you at today, Maureen? What am I at today? Yeah. Um, doing a photo shoot. NDA. NDA, yeah. non-disclosure N- on them socks. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna tell you. Maureen is a sponsored athlete. Yeah, I'm an athlete now, yeah. By a company we're not allowed to say the name of. Well, Did you see that coming 10 years ago when we, or whenever we met? What? You know, that that you'd be getting called up to do influencer jobs. You're making more money than anyone I know today. Well, first of all, I'm not an influencer. I don't do influencer jobs. Well, where do jobs. you see? Where do you see? That's not something I've ever done or will do. She does. No, uh, send stuff to the house and uh, and money. And Maureen will put it on. <laughs> anything. Put it on. Put it on. Do anything. Air fryer. Put it on. Imagine you just opened yourself up for a week and just was, you were like, I want to be an influencer. Send me everything and I'll just wear it all. <laughs> Do you know what just, I mean? And it, whatever you want. Just some jewellery company, some startup sports brand, someone who makes vegan slippers. <laughs> I don't, I can't see that happening, but yeah. I mean, that's kind of what some influencers look like, isn't it? They're just send a nail tap and they're like, perfect. I'm so happy with this. Yeah, the big problem is you have to like lie about it. You're not supposed to lie about it. But people clearly probably do. Yeah, like I watched the Casey Neistat video the other day on this Insta360 or whatever sent them that, that, that listen to that noise. That's the fucking influencer alarm. Uh, 
And I thought maybe you got a, got one now, just like, doo, 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 doo. no, no, no. Um, <laughs> yes, beeping on all our brands. <laughs> <laughs> all our brands. <laughs> uh, what the fuck is it talking about? Uh, oh, yeah, like they sent him the Insta360 thing and he has to pretend like, this is great. I set the old Sony AS7 fucking 12. Didn't record it. Yeah, down to yeah. pick up this wee thing. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Don't, don't if you're, you're not seeing loaded, this right now, yeah. it's from my other things that are much, much better. Imagine, imagine yeah, that all your influencer things like, now, if you were poor, this is fine. <laughs> but I've got the fucking, i got a six grand camera there, so let's not fucking play. Do you know what I'm saying? But that'll be fun for you, for your photos and shit. It's just a, it's just a wee thing. It's just a wee thing. It's right. It's just a wee they're thing. Pe- like. They're paying her twenty thousand pounds. Yeah, they are twenty pounds. Twenty thousand. No, they're not. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. <no. laughs> he's, he's only in the big money jobs now. <laughs> per have, photo now. Per oh, photo. Awesome. Awesome. Per photo and per per minute of content used. That's what you want. That's what you want to get yeah. to like one of the Jenners, you know. Where they're like, look at you. Can Your you name's... what? <laughs> Bruce, like. <laughs> where, they're, where they're just like. Oh, sorry. Oh, I don't know. We're getting all woke. Uh, he's by Bruce Jenner's bound to say Bruce by accident sometimes. Maybe, yeah. This is you know what you do if you see him in a restaurant, you go Bruce, and he turns around, and you go got you, <laughs> got you, you fucking bastard. But yeah, that's what you want. You want someone just to send you a picture and be like, "Here's uh, five hundred thousand pounds. Can you just post a picture of this?" I don't know because then you see some people who are influencers, and it doesn't look fun sometimes to have to do that it sounds easy yeah i think i think it sounds like it would be easy but i think that would be really hard work to just try and make content for other people all day long you're basically making yourself into like an advertising company yeah do you know what i mean and you have to be in the video and make the video and put it out there and then pretend pretty much be like yeah this is class even if it's nothing to do you know I, mean? I would say if you were getting plenty of them, though, you would just pick the ones that were like relevant. Well, yeah, you can. That's obviously where people yeah. are in a better position now. Like, but I don't know. It's funny. It's funny how game, isn't it? But then it makes sense because if you have, they say, smaller audiences are better, actually, mm. because people tend to listen to them. It's actually the people with the big giant audiences. People go, right, whatever tap they're talking about now. Like, but it's a legit brilliant way to market a product. If you have it to send it to someone and they show it online, it's actually amazing. If it's done in a really like you know pure form of like I would like to send you this thing, if you like it, can you put it up? And then this like little smaller local whatever company or people who make their own whatevers get their stuff out there. Like it is like nice. It's like a cool like it is actually in certain is things cool. very cool. Like, but it depends. Doesn't it, it does depend. It and very very you know, depends. Like the, infam- <laughs> the infamous story of uh, the company sending me the jewelry. Yeah, but you you were very polite. I, I tried think. to tell her. I was like, I don't "Listen, wear, bro, I, I, don't I shall not so. wear this." And uh, sure enough, didn't get it. And it was I looked like a, a pit bull with a chain around its neck. It was like ah, 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 trying to breathe. Eddie I, enjoyed it actually. Though he if wore I'd, it. For if if, 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 I, if it. I'd have sent him the pictures I took with me wearing it, he'd have been like, but, "Do you know Maybe. what, man? Enjoy it. Yeah. Don't bother about taking the photo for online." If I think, could you just not post this? Yeah, you look like a fucking fat this. darts player. So, <laughs> with it digging into your fat wrists, your cankles on your on your wrists, Colin. If you could not, um, but uh, maybe I should just start sending out USBs with podcasts on them. There you go, free podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it. Play it to death, man. Play it as much as you want. That's for you. But um, no, I feel your pain. I am an influencer. and uh, A sandwich influencer? Oh, yeah, for sure. You're. A f- I would say you're actually a food influencer. See, see if I... Without being a food blogger, you're a food influencer. It has an influence on my tits. It sure does. It sure does. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my office. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, if I, if, I, if I wanted to up my online presence, I should just... Which is what everybody has done, is focus solely on food. Yeah. I never get more interaction than whenever I put up a photo of food, like. I swear it's on Guys, people. I'm playing the SSE, sixth show. I'm going to have a great time. Come join me. And, people, and no one sees it. And then I just go like, sandwich. And, and you know, you got 50,000 DMs. Yeah. Engagement, two million. <laughs> <laughs> two million, yeah. Weekly Everyone engagement. Everyone hovering over it, like. <sighs> cock, and, cock in hand. Yeah. It is. You're a food guy, like it makes sense though. Like you're a food guy. Foodie. Foodie. What does food guy mean? Mm. Fat bastard. No, it means 
you like nice food like you have good taste in food and you also can cook nice food yeah so you have sort of a basis of being able to make a good judgment on what's nice and you enjoy eating it i do several times we a can't day. cook right now because our, our kitchen's about to get smashed in sure is but that's another reason why we wanted to to get a new kitchen was because we like cooking and the kitchen we have now doesn't really facilitate an easy is there cooking any, I environment. Mean, it, I mean, what an absolute, uh, w- what's the term? Like a white privilege type thing? What do they call it? What are you referring to? Like a first world problem? Yeah. When you're looking to get an oil extension and your house is an absolute disaster, would you rather be trying to function in that house or Andrew Tate right now? What? It's tough. Living in a house getting smashed to bits and built on. Isn't it? Are you comparing this to being to being Andrew I'm just well at least you know, at least someone's done his room up already. And that he's is just the chilling. weirdest comparison I've ever <laughs> met. What do you mean, or would you prefer to be under Tate? You can't just say would you prefer to be under Tate? It's a simple a comparison. Life. It's a simple life, you know, he's just in one room, chilling, getting his meals. Oh, do you mean because he's locked up? Yeah. I thought you meant just be Andrew oh, Tate. Oh, no, no, I meant in jail. I was like, you're trying to say, would you rather this or be Andrew Tate? Like, that's just not Andrew a Tate in general in his general life. No. Oh, do you no, mean in jail? Jo- just I'm mean in jail. I'm only joking, but uh, yeah, yeah, it'll be, it'll be nice when we get a nice new kitchen and I can, I can start the cooking show. It's Finally. Me, yeah, there it goes for our cooking show. Yeah. That's basically... I'm saying our, but I'll just eat it. But that, that's basically what we're doing it for, smashing the bits and uh, yeah. getting a nice Matty Matheson style cooking setup. It's called Kitchen. It's not called Matty Matheson style. It? <laughs> <laughs> it's a cooking setup. Kitchen. It's a kitchen. It's a, uh, kitchen. It's a kitchen. It just industrial yeah. extractor, so I don't smell no, like beef all the time. No. No. You can do that outside. But I have a phobia of smelling like onions all the time. Yeah, you have dinner phobia. Dinner smell phobia. Yeah. Is there like is there a phobia of like being afraid that you it smell was, like it food? Was, it was always just being paranoid before I went to school that my ma was cooking spa- spaghetti bolognese at six in the morning because she cooked it before you went to school. Yeah. Because you know, by the time we got back from school, she'd be pissed. But yeah, I had a fear of going to, going to school with a woolly blazer smelling like onions. That's a bit specific of a phobia, but yeah. It is. You don't want to be... <laughs> oh, woolly, woolly onions. You don't want to be onion boy when you go no, to school. You, <laughs> you know, you don't want someone to be like, there comes old onions, get us. <laughs> also, you have a very like what's the word, like fine tuned nose to smell things. Like we could be what we could just open a door in any anywhere and walk down a street for two seconds and you could smell a dog shit a mile away <laughs> and you'd be like there's dog shit in this road and like, there's nothing there's no smells and then you can smell it it's not specifically dog shit either. a lot of the times <laughs> otherwise you, you say, constantly be like dog shit oh, oh. all you do is smell dog shit and all you do is go do i smell what does that smell like i cooked something smell i could smell my t-shirt like you've got a very acute sense of smell now i do have a good sense of smell I smell bullshit a mile away bullshit yeah <laughs> Dog shit and bullshit. Dog shit, but well, mainly shit. <laughs> Your own shit. There's shit everywhere, Maureen, you know? Did you ever I do know. that, you know, when they swab a thing? Everything's got shite on it, like. Well, when you have a toddler, everything is shit in it because they're just, they're just piddling and you, pooping you know that, in no? a like toilet if, and then touching the toilet a hundred times. Yeah. He'll put his hand, I mean, I can't think about it because since all the things I'm quite, not germophobic, but I'm just a lot more aware of it now. I was bad at speaking of it. Eddie will just put his hand, he'll hold the toilet seat, like the rim of the toilet, yeah. and just like look in it whilst he's like flushing, and you're like, you're touching so much of the toilet. Yeah. And then he'll wash his hands, and then he'll want to do something else, or if you're in the toilet, he'll want to touch it. And like, I had to bring him in the bathroom to take a shit one time, and the I felt a wee hand on the side of my chicken. I was like, where are you? Put- are you putting your hand down the back <laughs> just, crack of the toilet there? He's just always touching it. He's always touching the toilet. And then he'll have like a wee meltdown, and he'll be rolling about the floor, up. like under the underside oh, of the toilet. And, all, and, you're and like, then he'll like get like a toilet brush and keep lifting it. I'm like, please stop touching things. <laughs> Kids are a nightmare. And then he'll just touch something else, and then he'll rub his hand at all. And just, you just know, you just think of that, those like movies where they put a light up, and they're like, you know, when people like cough, and they're like, there's your germs. Yeah. It's just like, it's <laughs> yeah, just, like, like <laughs> everywhere, it's just blue. Like, ah! Is that old lad with a raw chicken? Yeah. Only it's a three year old with pish. <laughs> Just fucking the way through your eyes. Just everywhere. <laughs> that was a good bit in Black Mirror, wasn't it? When the guy was <laughs> the guy had lemon juice and he goes, This shows up oh, under the Have you seen that now? No. I'm <gasps> it. You have to watch it and we can talk about it with you. So it's like uh, it. it's a piss take of it's basically like the serial killer porn that people are into on Netflix now. It's kinda highlighting that. Oh nice. And then but at the at the end of the show, it's like the the film that they make in it wins like BAFTAs and shit. Okay, you don't need to ruin it for anyone who hasn't seen it. 
But the scene that you're talking about is they were going in to joke, being like, we'll put lemon juice because yeah. it shows up under a UV light. As yeah. in, like, we'll make it look like there's loads of whatever. Blood. Semen, jizz, blood, whatever here. <laughs> Semen and jizz? I don't know. Oh, no, that was sort of. And then they, they, the then they put on the light. <laughs> There's then semen they, and jizz in here. <laughs> then they put the light the and it's actually already filled and that was disgusting. Yeah, they turned the UV light on to see the lemon juice and the place covered in blood. <sighs> Scary. So, yeah. But yeah, imagine, like, you can't describe how annoying it is to have a, to- a toddler like that. You know, like, what's, what, what's like Murphy's Law with the toddler? If it can be fucked up, it will be fucked up. <laughs> yeah. What's if the you, most that can get fucked up? Drop, it will we'll get, get fucked up. Yeah. Murphy's law is like that if you drop it, it'll always go face down. Toddler law is just, it will just always be dropped, is the thing. It's before Murphy's law. It's just, it will always be dropped. And yeah. of course it will smash. And of course the thing that they're dropping is heavy and sharp and they shouldn't be doing it. You, you, there's hazards that you didn't even know existed. Eddie turned around the other day and I'm not joking. I was in the living room and our, his playroom's just down the hall a bit. So I could just hear him. He just ran away from me for two seconds. And I just like was looking up something, turned around and he had scissors like this close to his eye. Like that, like that doing it like holding it like that and I went Eddie and luckily if I shout which I don't really shout he freaked out so I went Eddie and he went I guess what ah! and just knew he should be just he just threw them behind him and ran he just sprinted <laughs> all he knew was like don't touch these he knew it yeah and I was like the scissors were like this close I think he was literally trying to like get his hair or something he literally was doing it like that and I was like if he had he could have gotten his eye he could have ran I, like just a million things could have went wrong there but he just freaked out and went ah! and just threw them behind him. I was like, oh my God. They weren't even like scissors. Like I don't have scissors. Just your scissors mom behind him with the fucking scissors. They were like wee thread. <laughs> they, were, they were wee thread <laughs> scissors. So where did he find them? Do you know what I mean? They weren't like kitchen scissors. I don't have things like that out. He just found oh, yeah. thread scissors. But like the series How? of events that he can that he can put together, I don't know. You know, you're like. Oh my God. Like he, sometimes he lifts like a glass and you, you don't panic him because he will drop it. So you just can't go careful now and you just let until he sets it down, you hold your breath the whole time. But if you freak out, you'd be like, Eddie, put that down. And then he sprints and then hits his head on the corner of the half open dishwasher. And you're like, well, that's a hazard now. Spills the water, slips in the water, hits it. You know, you're like, oh, my fucking days. It's definitely days. a wee boy Slips, thing. kicks a thing, it falls away. You know what I mean? It's like, God, that. It's like Charlie and Chaplin. He's actually very, he actually, ironically, is very good at like pouring drinks out. And so he's got good balance and he's good at like judging things. But he's so confident then that he just tries anything. So he's so like, he'll just grab anything and be like, I'm going to get that bowl out of this giant thing and I'm going to do this thing. Oh, yeah. He's so independent, which is I can great. Use a, I can use a jigsaw. <laughs> I can I fuck know. it, you know. Sure, you had the bloody screwdriver the other day, but I was given a cardboard box. Good trick. Actually, no, you're not supposed to give your three-year-old a screwdriver but, or a electric. Yeah, had a drill, like the kid, drill. child had a drill. But in a cardboard box and he's drilling holes, he was having a great time. <laughs> but then, then he just runs around with it, you know, like some sort of murderer. So you have to take it off him. But he, uh, you know, yeah, you're worried about it like like your dad did, like it getting caught in fabric and just twisting oh. up. Now, did you see the video during the week of the girl oh. in like China somewhere on a big machine? I think the machine was making like fabric. Oh, uh, yeah. And she walks over that. and like, oh, that looks a bit funny and like goes to touch a thing and it just goes <laughs> and just sucks her up into the thing. And her- she, she lived... But like, she brought you know like as. as but she, her, I think you want to see her arm, her whole like. Oh, her whole, whole body, person. just her whole body. Do you want to see it? She's alive. If that makes you feel any better. Oh, what? I mean, it makes you feel slightly better. She's no. dead, obviously. Is she the shape of a stretch Armstrong? Yes. <laughs> um, osmophobia. Just to go back a tab here. Uh, or <sighs> oh fuck, oh fuck the phobia refers to a fear aversion or psychological hypersensitivity to odors. Oh, that's what you've got. Osmophobia. So I got osmophobia thinking that my blazer would smell like onions. That's what you've got. And also people um, making loud noises when they eat. So anything to do with food, you can't deal with. Apart from eating it yourself. Gets caught in machine. Tell me this. Did this just... China. (laughs) And of course, China. Uh, Was this just a suggested post to you or did someone send you this? um, No, I was just sitting in the house one night. I was like, no, I'd love to see. I wonder, do they? <laughs> Someone getting str- Is this the one? This looks like another one. Got it. Warning, the following contains images some f- viewers might find offensive. Or erotic. I'm not sure. Do I want to see this? I don't know. This might not be the right one. This one might actually get minced. Oh, this doesn't even look like the same one. Live leak. Live leaks, yeah. <laughs> oh, this <God>. one's dead. <laughs> I don't want to find this This person did not survive. Yeah, hold on. I'll, I'll fucking... Uh, by the way, the video is always someone filming like the CCTV footage yeah. when they're all having a laugh in the staff room. 
That's really sad then. Fuck's sake, Davey. Don't put your hand in the goddamn machine. I might regret watching this one, to be fair. Hold on. We're, the guy's like faffing about with this big roller. It's always oh, big. It's too much suspense. I can't deal with it. There is a lot of suspense in this. I need to chop is... it down a bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. The retention's not there. Hi. <laughs> Eat subtitles or something. <laughs> Oh, oh, come on, man. What a cocktail. He didn't even show it. Yeah, that guy died. Um, <laughs> like, Women trapped in rolling machine. Like you're not supposed to be able to see this much tragedy in the world. Like, Oh, this is her here. Oh, my God. What do you God. see? She just gets absolutely... It's just a tagline tally. Can you see it? Kind of. I don't want to see it. Don't Watch. Know. No. And... I mean, you... Do, and see it. Womp, 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 womp. Look at the leg. <laughs> now, now, here's my question. That was worth it, wasn't it? <laughs> that oh was... my God. <laughs> Do you like that? No. <laughs> I'm, I log in. Yeah, I'm like in. far enough away that I couldn't really see that in detail. <sighs> but yeah, she just gets absolutely minced to pieces. But she lived. But you know you've you fold your you fold your legs around a, a pole a couple of times. It's not gonna feel good. No, that, that's that's horrible, Colin. It is, but it's China. You know what I mean? I I I just I doubt very much the health and safety is up to scratch in China. Well, that's why you're not supposed to buy from all those stupid fashion sites like Shein and stuff like that, where it's like minus fifty p for a garment of trash, <laughs> where people are not getting paid enough and they're being. Working in places like that. But sure, they're all like that. Apples like that. Is it not? Was that not the famous? Is story? Apple made of material? Are they sewing them? No, but sure, they were. You know, they were making them work for like nine days straight with no sleep, and people were just going. Uh, I think I'd rather be dead, and they would just hop out the window, and then Apple were like, "Gotcha, bitch," because we knew you were gonna kill yourself, and we got nets around the building. <laughs> How annoying! Imagine getting just marched back to your desk. Come on, you. If you get out full loss, get back in here and straight back that desk and piss into a nappy because you're not like toilet breaks either. <laughs> Is that what working for Amazon's like? If anyone works for Amazon out there, give me a shout. I've only ever heard horror stories about Amazon. But that, that's, that. like, apparently people were wearing, like, uh, nappies because they got, like, they were there was a guy with a fucking stopwatch timing them go to the toilet, like, taking it off their, their money. Stop so it. people were just like, I'm wearing the nappy. <laughs> just shouting in the nappy. As a form of protest, I'd be like, I'm wearing this one nappy all month. I'll show you, Jeff, you bastard. You couldn't do that because your sense of smell is too strong, as we know. Yeah, you it is. You from that. People were, that, that was a, there was a couple of festival hacks that I read, you know, coming up to Glastonbury and whatnot. People dying to see acts. And apparently someone in Japan, they decided instead of bringing in like liters and liters of water, they just bring in like a bunch of cucumbers. Ah. And you get thirsty and you just munch the cucumber. Oh, you know, and then the other technique uh, was not yeah. great in a water fight, like, but no, <laughs> bit sad. <laughs> not great as a mixer. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do that, Jamie Oliver thing. Where you put a fucking, you put like a wee funnel into it and pour vodka into it. <laughs> gin, probably gin and cucumber. Gluten orange. Hmm. <laughs> Quickly, they're choking. <laughs> that day, what is? <laughs> but apparently it's good for hydration. Could you clean your windows with it in your car? <laughs> Snap open there probably is a hack cucumber. where like, you know, like if you cut a lemon in half and just wipe your window, but <laughs> you bet it works a fucking treat. I, fi I found a hack online the other day where it was like, you put like a, you know, like wire wool, like a Brillo pad type thing. Yeah. In the vinegar, shake it about, leave it for a day and then you take it out and you'd rub it on like wood like that and it would go like black stained without having to paint it. You know? And I watched that just, you know, to cleanse the palate from the girl from China getting absolutely fucking <laughs> minced to bits. But the other, yeah, the other hack was like, if you, you know, you want to, you know, you want to go see Taylor Swift and you, you want to run to the front and wait there and save your space, get the adult nappy on and just be, just be, sta you know, you go to a Harry Styles concert, you know? It'd be handy, like, wouldn't it? You know, it's not this, no, no. Why do they all have diarrhea? Because... <laughs> You be eating cucumbers all day. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so good. What a man of sugar. And you're just pissing hard into these pants. <laughs> that thing when a toddler, like you're just watching it and your face just goes like. <laughs> yeah. Your mates are doing a Snapchat. And then you go back. 
<laughs> turns out everyone's fucking like this here and it gets around to you and you're just like oh, it well? <laughs> do you remember that meme you sent me of like toddlers you're like did you go to the toilet and they say no and then it's like the back, the back fucking bit of a uh, lawnmower just like, like out about like two like meters <laughs> so it was funny that it is it is mad that people or pe- people babies just be shitting hard in the anatomy okay because it has it has nowhere really to go so it's just gonna go like yeah. and just turn back at itself and you know yeah there you go yeah an adult cannot do that like there's just no way <laughs> well there's probably some older adults you know uh, no, i know, I know to, but, but <laughs> if you have that functional ability there yeah to just do that if you don't need to do that i don't know i think i genuinely think if you start wearing nappies yeah <laughs> I don't know how you go back. <laughs> like, McCann needs a nappy for a fucking podcast. <laughs> Guy does 15 pitches before his start. He could just sit there. For, no, that's the last thing he needs. He, no, the no, last sorry. thing he needs is another excuse to not move. He needs just to like, change him, that's why. <laughs> you know, he'd get off. But then he'd be, he, McCann wouldn't be spending any more money on nappies. He'd be like, nah, sure. Just fucking ring it out, put it back on. So t-shirt. Oh, Jesus Christ. He put through the two homeholes. Yeah. It is, I remember when Eddie was younger, like, you know, you would, you could, like, look at a nappy and it would just go, like, you know, it would just immediately, like, fell, like that. But is it, like, you know when you're busting for a piss and, you know, like, in road trips and all, you see it in, in movies, when someone starts pissing in a bottle and then, they, and then you don't realise how much an adult male pisses when he's on the drink, like, and he's like, quick, I need another bottle, you know. That'll be me with a nappy. Yeah. I'd be like, and I'd be like, oh, it's coming out the sides, quick, and I'd have to switch to another one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And also, what size would my nappies be? Oh my god, you just be like a big sumo wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> like even a 24 pack would be like you, just, like you got delivered a fucking washing machine. Or just like a big pack of nappies. <laughs> just be like fucking. No, no, no. Does that happen with big fat girls? What? You know, if they, if they, <laughs> if they need like a fucking sandwich towel about that long. No, you don't have more. Like a saddle? God. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming as you grow, the, 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 the family just keeps growing longer. Oh, no, of course it doesn't. <laughs> it's the same size. So if a girl's like six foot five? Yes, of course. She doesn't have like a big Malong family? No, Colin, no, of course they don't. Do you actually think that they'd have a big giant, like, gaping hole in their body then? Yeah, but that fits the rest of their body. It's the same scale as yeah, the rest of their body. Yeah, but you would sit on a sofa and swallow a bell up if you did that. You can't. No, of course not. All right. Well, we learn something new every There's day. There's no way you could, that would happen. No. Well, I suppose it's like fellas, you know, if you get a guy's like seven foot. Yeah. Does the, does the cock grow with the scale? <clears throat> anyway, someone did a lovely picture yeah. of me. <laughs> We're not the only influencer in the room, boy. Look at that. Subtle. <laughs> <laughs> that would look lovely in your house, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I mean, it's a really good drawing. Stunning. Stunning work. It's really, really amazing. It's a, yet another photo of me where I appear to have no teeth. <laughs> but I was just saying, you've got great lips. Thank you. Because normally you have chicken lips, remember? Oh, I thought you meant real life. In the photo, I've got nice lips? Yeah. Thanks. Um, yeah, I don't have the lips of a turtle in real life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, that's Zero not real, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's very good. So this was from... This is from our boy Jossie Pops. And you... Yeah, so you like donate to charity and then he does that? Yeah. That's and great. he says we do we do charity work. Um, you know, he does... I donate the charity because he does the drawing. Yeah. Um, and then I paid to get it framed because mm-hmm. I thought it would be a shame not to. And then... Um, you get to nominate someone else. Mm-hmm. And uh, I got this one, mate, of Aaron. <laughs> Which is ironic, because his head's actually that size. <laughs> That's to scale, Aaron. Yeah, that, that would be to scale, Aaron. And then uh, and then there's that one there. Which the boys downstairs said that looked like Leonardo DiCaprio. And I, oh. And I went, but yeah, like when they found him after he drowned in the Titanic. <laughs> when they found him two weeks later. Steamrolled. Steamrolled. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, fucking breakfast rolled. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, you just sit on your shoulder? I should, what I should have done to just rub it in. 
you know, if we put this in the background of Bomb Squad, is put that <laughs> photo in a frame that size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually resting in my balls. It's killing me. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, shout out her boy. Is really name Johnny? Jossie Pop's art. Uh, and, then, and then I nominated, because um, it is it is weird getting a photo of yourself. You know, I was thinking like maybe maybe the guy should ask like, who's your favorite comedian? And do you like a big photo of your favorite comedian? Oh, and that's and, a and good then idea. you can pay for it. Oh, I like you've got the, what should we call him over there? I, oh, we've got Bill, Bill Hicks, Hicks and then I did there. the wee dish film. But yeah. um, no, someone else nominated Aaron, so he did that at the time. But then, you know, he's obviously like, we do it for a hundred pound for charity. And McCann's like, no, unless the charity is uh, McCann's nappies <laughs> fund. But <laughs> um, so I nominated Mark McCartney and he's off social media now, so he doesn't know anything about it. But what might be funny is if I just get the same again, big Jan photo yeah. of McCartney, because I sent a photo from Lavery's. And then if he's just up at the house one day, he's just like, why is there a big, char yeah. a big, it, yeah. a big charcoal drawn on <laughs> yeah. me? And I'll just be like, I like you, Mark. The doors are locked. Come into my special room. It's full of lemon juice all over the walls. There's tea in there. He'd be fucking straight in anyway. No, but that's class though. But that's class. I don't that think class. that. No, it's cool. What do we do with that then? I was going to say, do we put it in the green room and library? Just have a lot of, like, there's so many drawings of you now. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be, it'd be just so, a room of calls. Like another guy did that one, which is a cartoon. Yeah. You know, I've never looked beefier There's and better. There's another one, wasn't there? Strange thing, it? strange thing. You're very drawable. Am I? Yeah, circle and two dots. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit more detailed, like that. <laughs> you can sum me up in well, it. Well, now you've got glasses on, but it used to just be the eyebrows. Yeah, I need to get rid of the glasses. Uh, yeah, you nerd. I think in the last year or so, I've aged about five years. Having not really aged In the last at all. five years, you've definitely aged five years? No. Nah. I think in the last one or two, I've aged about 10. Why is that? Don't know. Let's get into it, Colin, why? Uh, just er just everyone catches up on you, you know? I mean, we have had a lot of things happen in the a last lot of few things. years, let's be honest. Stress, tiredness, drinking. Eating like a gimp. You know what I'm saying? I've seen a video with yeah. a guy from Sum 41. Have you seen him these oh, days? yeah. Rough. Yeah. No, I haven't But he seen looks him. like a... The guy looks like a 10-year-old that went on the rip for 10 years. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I'm talking about? No, I don't know who you're talking about. Who? You know some 41? Yeah. In Too Deep and all that business? Yeah. The wee lead singer who was like a wee cute... Was he not married to Avril Lavigne? He was. I think he was, uh, and now she's getting the rod from uh, a rapper, I do believe. Who's she getting... Oh, yeah. Who's she in a relationship, relationship with? Tiger. Is she? I think so. Flippy. What age is Avril now? Oh, Lavril? Yeah. Miss Levine is... What age is Lavril Levine? She's probably 50. Are we taking bets? She's probably mid-40s, would she be? Age of Avril Levigny. 38, bro? Older than me? Not by much. So who's the guy then? Show me a picture of him. Tagger, 33. That's about the same age gap between me oh. us, isn't it? We all look the Except same. Except I'm 36. Um... Yeah, they look, they look, let me see, Taiga and Avril. Uh, and he, was he not going out with Kylie Jenner? Yeah, the guy's been doing some low-key dicking all left, right and centre, hasn't he? There they are. <clears throat> they look weird together, don't they? N not racial, hashtag not rich, racial. That looks like AI. I was going to say, it looks like they look like f fake models of each other. The rapper? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, there they are, all kissing and pumping. You know. Um, who was Tiger going out with back in the day? Kylie. It must be. It must feel good to be one of those one of those early entrants, you know. Before them Kardashians and all, just get absolutely reeled out. And you'd be like, I was in there before there was it wasn't too much traffic about. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Fannies. I don't think they care. Uh, who? The Kardashians? Or any of them. They probably actually want them when they're more famous. Oh yeah, probably. And have ton, don't care about their past. Yeah. Like, how do you feel about the, the Kanye Kim thing now? Do you, like, it was obviously just like a full, this would be good for both of our careers. Yeah, that documentary was good. What was it called again? Uh, something. Tiger King? No. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> what was it called? Billionaire something. Publicist or something? No, the one, the one about the Kardashians is on 
Child Ford. Oh, we watched in the caravan. Yeah. Oh my God, that's right. And I mean, that's it's, worth a it's good that we said we watched it in the caravan. Every fart, slagging off. <laughs> every fart this woman took was like fucking calculated. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was like we're in a caravan. We look like these fucking scumbags. <laughs> you wouldn't want to live like that, would you? Who'd want that? I've dropped crisps down the side of my socks. Oh, you know what? I'm like, oh, there he is. Sleeping in a bed of sand that's not big enough for two people. Yeah, standing up, hitting my head in a cupboard. You'd hate to be And they're real out too, on some. They're real out. They're my Kardashians, red out. You wouldn't yeah. touch them, wouldn't touch them with yours. Uh, it did seem like the whole thing is so calculated. Like what, it's like, you know that, but when you actually see the documentary where they break it down and people are like, yeah, and her publicist was like, oh, yeah, they did this on purpose. This was done. This was done. Yeah, like the wedding to Chris Humphreys or whatever. Oh, all of a sudden they're engaged and then apparently like she would be invited on trips because this wasn't when she was as astronomically big as she is now. Yeah. And they'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, bring your husband. She's like, no, he slows me down. Like, no, I'm not bringing him. Like, she didn't really enjoy being with him at all. But it was a big uh, TV spectacle to have a big wedding. Like, it's the best thing for ratings is a wedding. No way. And then that's when she got like divorced after whatever, 72 days or something. Do you know? And then everyone's like, okay. And then she's like, oh, my God, can you? And can you did like her, obviously, but. You know, they obviously liked each other, but yeah, the guy. It was bananas. like a, it was like just a business transaction. The whole thing. Yeah. Still, and the children. Do you mean? But it almost seems that she's like, well, let's just have our kids now. You know. What else was there? Let's was there, just was do there that. not like some other? Can you remember any of the other stunts in it? I can't remember. There were some weird ones where you're like, I can't believe that. There's some. Like, was there, ones was like the robbery this. one that something to do with it or something, or was that legit? No, I think that was legit, but I think that was more just the fact of like, um, she, this is what happens when you like flaunt your wealth so much in people's faces and you're showing your whole life and like, you know, going around with like millions of dollars worth of jewelry on, showing it. And sort of like, it'll basically catches up with you. People mm. are going, all right, okay, all right, you're going to show your whole life and make all your money from that. Well, bad things can also happen. That's exactly what happened to. What's his name? XXX Tension or whatever his name is. He was in the car with like all the cash, like, yeah, fucking oh, right. way to buy a motorbike. And some fella was just yeah. like, I know where that shop is, and just walked up and shot him and stole the money. Fucking hell. Idiot. That's why you need to be posted. But that's, if, if, that, like, that, like, proves that, like, money is not the be all end all because someone can just take it. Someone can threaten your life with it. And then if someone's threatening your life, you go, take it all. Take it all. Mm -hmm. Don't care now. I've got kids. Please take anything. I think she said that. Like, it was so terrifying to her. I think that's why she did, like, everything's a bit more minimalist. But she doesn't give out as much anymore or, you mm -hmm. know, show anything that she has as much. Or she obviously does. But you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't the same. Where before, she's trying to get in the front of every magazine, be on every campaign, promote fucking everything. She didn't do that as much now. Like, it's all just her own businesses and stuff. But do you know what I mean? Like you're just like yeah, that's where you it's get not lifestyle like post luxury. Remember we were talking about that the other day. So you want just not give. It's a bit fuck. trashy to be you know like the rapper and you know Here's like all, I got all yeah. this shit and I got fucking I got this thing that looks like a lion's yeah. head covered in diamonds and then whatever those things aren't a novelty anymore when you've so much money you're just Jay Z in it walking do around. Do you know black what I jumper. like those things right? Because obviously everyone aspires to do well. Obviously everyone does, but I always think of. Oprah Winfrey said and she went it's intent fuck bitches get money <laughs> look under your seat hoes yeah. Winfrey and his hoe <laughs> the billionaire businesswoman that is Oprah Winfrey but she did say which I quite like about her because she's like super successful but her whole thing was about you know positively and it wasn't about you know doing it in bad ways she always said it's always about your intent so if you say aspire to have a big giant house what's your intent if your intent is because you want this for your family and you want to have kids and you want them all to have a bedroom and you want to have these beautiful family memories and that's a beautiful reason to go after that but if you just want that to you know show off or to be better than someone else or because you just want as much money as you can gather and whatever like that's not a good way to have it and usually it doesn't end up yeah it won't make you happy so, so if tag is like, like i intend to fuck bitches get money yeah she oprah would be like no no no, no. don't intend to do it Accidentally. No. Accidentally. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So it's like, what's, what is your intent by it? But that's why they can be billionaires. You're like, look, like Oprah is a billionaire. And you're like, class. I actually, if she like invited you to her house, you're like, oh my God, this is amazing. Look at this life you've built. Whereas then you look at the Kardashians and it's all a bit too in your face and flashy. And they're probably terrified at every moment that someone is going to steal something or take it off them or like, 
expose them or like all this shit like and you can't buy taste no you can't have you seen the inside of drake's house and, and, and kanye tried to like obviously redesign kim to look good as well yeah and he and he it worked it did work but like what a depressing kind of marriage being like nope don't wear that don't wear that don't wear that you need to wear this you look like a fucking mess and she's just walking around like a mo- like what do you his new wife is going around with a fucking big i mean what a strange what a strange turn of events where his new girlfriend looks like kim kardashian's body and pete davidson's head <laughs> have you seen her no, because she's always covered. Her face has always got nuts. What, 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 what a strange no, turn yeah, of events. Yeah, look like us weird, isn't it? Yeah. Get a picture of her there. Let me I can't see. Remember. I'm going to have to get Kanye's Kanye West wife. 2023. <laughs> they have to put a fucking date in. Bianca Sensori. Let's see. Get a really PT. No, absolutely one. scandalous set of tits. <laughs> <laughs> They are weary, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> they look heavy. You're worse than having iron on a podcast. Oh, no, but they look, that looks heavy. Yes, yeah, absolutely. She just, so, she's got the right weighties. Right that looks like Pete Davidson. That's the name oh. of the podcast there now, the weighties. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, he's just went, you know, I'll f- well, he goes, you think you can fuck me over? <laughs> I'll fuck you and Pete. <laughs> I'll fuck you and Pete in the same fucking, in the same setting. <laughs> Jeez. Wearing a bin bag. <laughs> That's why he covers her face all the time. Yeah, because she, like, like she looks like fucking Pete <laughs> What's this? She's just wearing a pair of tights. Down yeah, the they're all there. walking down like they've just come back from a party at the Holy Lands and they've lost their skirt. I oh, know, he's fucking lost his and mind. Going but back. The, pr- the problem is with him, he's so goddamn influential. Like, there will be boys, you know, you know, I'll come out of Lavery's one night at 11 o'clock and there'll be a bunch of boys heading down to fucking, you know, the limelight. Looking like that. Isn't it crazy to have Socks like on. that? Yeah, it's crazy. Like, you sort of set a new sort of standard of fashion or style and people are like, okay, yeah, let's do that. But they laugh at it for a second and then and it then does go, catch yeah. up. And I, always, I always like seeing that whenever you see something that's so obscure and you're like, God, that's really weird looking. And then next thing, it's just normal. Uh, like how weird some of his trainers looked at the start. Yeah. And now it's like iconic. they did. Like you just sort of looked at me like, what the hell? Or even like, you know. Like the first the those, first those, Yeezy um, now is a classic shoe. Uh, the same as like an Air Force One is or, or a Jordan yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a classic like, silhouette. Yeah. I was just typing in uh, Kanye West bulge here because he, he was, <laughs> there's a few photos of him recently just walking around with a meat hanging out. Of course you'd say that. Of course I would. Do you have like alerts on your, on your like Google <laughs> for anyone who's got like Kanye bulge West. pics out? Kanye West got the dong out. <laughs> no, but even like uh, anyone with any sort of heaviness in their clothing. Uh, there was uh, there was like what you did say this. What was this picture? I, I don't know, but it. like he started wearing. There's there's McGregor with the packet out. Um, <laughs> there were, no, there was a photo like he he started wearing like basically this big fucking puffy jumper thing. And yeah. then basically a very silky pair of pants and then a pair of socks. And his, the He's fu- basically wearing like tights now. Like, like his fucking pipe was out left, right and centre. Really? The Yeezy pipe. And then he was at some gallery thing and what's the wee girl called? South East or something? <laughs> North. Northwest. Um, Northwest 200. And uh, she was probably like, you know, Dad, your mate's hanging out. So she was like, tr- she was nearly like trying to block photographers and stuff. And Kanye was just walking around hanging. Why did he- Kanye was your dad? With a heavy, heavy class. Free shoes all day, player. That's all you can Yeah, do. the rest of it's chaos. Mainers, but you know uh, what I mean? Free shoes. But free shoes. He probably charges his kids. Yeah. They probably come out of their inheritance or something. He like get a bit of contact with him. Be like, you, so you, you don't take a picture or something? <laughs> you know. Goes through Chris Jenner. Kanye Jesus. with a pipe out. Who's that there? Who's that? Scott Desick? No, that's a that's just hanging about a pipe too. I would bet that's just a flattering angle, probably, isn't it? Yeah. They can't all be like that. Yeah, I don't think anybody uh, has that has that lovely. It, it's like when it's like when Beckham used to do the Calvin Klein ads, and he just everyone's like, "Man, look at the pack! Look at the packet of meat he's got!" And it was just perfectly smooth. When in reality, if if you, I think if you had a you know a real a real. Uh, Real set of what am I talking about? I know, I'm just, I'm just trying to. If you, had, say. if you had a real set of D and B's down there, it'd be a mess, you know. 
<laughs> You'd be like, Super Bob, ball deck ball. Like a division sign. <laughs> be all over the fucking cup. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't put that in a magazine, really. No. Nah. Like, really, you couldn't. No. Nah. It has to be a perfect little mound. Why do we always end up talking about trouser mounds? I can't. <laughs> trouser mounds? I don't know. It's your filthy mind. <laughs> You filthy pig. You are constantly opening your laptop and be like, look at that. Like, what is it? And it's always someone else's bulge or, oh, guess who has their boobs out? And that's it. Uh, now, someone said this and actually and said this is a, a video now after he's made his carbonara or something. It's just this real, <laughs> this real sexual guy. Why does he do this? <laughs> <laughs> Glazing that hold, player. <laughs> Too much fucking about for a donut, to be fair. Sorry, and then he eats it with a knife and fork? Yeah. Surely the sexiest part would have been him eating it. But yeah, this, I mean... <laughs> Sorry, he does all this and eats it with a knife and fork, though? Yeah. Gay lord. <laughs> he could have just not done any of that and it's very sexually edit. He's also he's also trying to make a like a high end donut. What should be happening there is you eat that in your car and get it all down your front. You know, like what I mean? the you're way not, normally you're, just you're, you're not doing like sexy donuts. You know what I mean? But that guy's wild. I've seen his videos before. Like, what's he doing? Also, you know the way women are, you know, probably on a on a genetic level attracted to like a square donuts? jaw and oh. stuff like that. Yeah. Can the jaw be too square? Because this motherfucker looks like. One of the Incredibles, we says. It's a show. Look at that. What's he doing, man? Is yeah, that's right. Is he hanging harsh. off a rope by his teeth? He's one of those people that you're going, he should have a beard. Think so? Do you know whenever you see people with beards and then they shave it, and you're like, oh, you needed the beard because it made you have, like, a better shaped face. Look, oh, look, look. <laughs> Why is he <laughs> Bro, health and safety. Oh, safety. Get your nose out of the bread's anus, man. I know. What's he doing? Put your face in it. And I saw, no, I'm sorry. He's so... You still edit with a knife and fork. But it's uh, this is the this is this is this is the way your influencer life's gonna go here. They're gonna that's it. I'll be one step at a time. They're gonna be like, can you sexy muffins. it up a wee bit? That's what they'll be doing. Um, that's your idea of OnlyFans, wouldn't it? Be sexy food. <laughs> see, see when this new kitchen comes in. I'm gonna be in the bore at Mankini, <laughs> finger and dough. I should now. Can we make a piss take of this for the live podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Where it's me, just like you know, I've got a bit of pizza dough, and I'm like, <laughs> but for like ages, <sighs> you know, the try to be all sexy with a page, me just like, <laughs> <laughs> rolling it out with a dildo. <laughs> 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 Uh, coming up for breath. <laughs> I do like the way you like split the dough and then went and then grabbed the cheeks like that. <laughs> what I like to imagine there was just like six people behind the camera. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> you know, just as bit. Can you can you go again there? I just got ice and sugar on my lens. No problem. He's just waiting. Loosen it up. Just being oh, on your fo fourth take, of, fourth take of like a night pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Again, hold on now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to remake that. Just with a horrible light and me with my pasty hairy tits out. <laughs> <laughs> what could you make? It was just really sad. Just fucking toast. <laughs> Mints. Mints and onions. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just trying to be fucking really sexy <laughs> with just like some beans and mash and sausages. <laughs> <laughs> flicking your bean, you like that? There did you? Someone's heard flicking the bean, you know, and I've had an opportunity with a lady, and I've just been like, "Where does that come from?" Flicking your bean. <laughs> Daniel O'Donnell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Yeah, everybody at home Fair flicking enough. your vein. Or, Makes yeah. sense. Would you ever just be watching one of my videos deadling your schedule? <laughs> can I can I look up term funny terms for female masturbation? Just yeah. cocks everywhere. 
<laughs> Funny terms for female master bish. Do you think you know them all already? Uh, I know a couple more, you know what I mean? I've been around the block a couple of times. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna <laughs> digging for clams. <laughs> I mean, the one clam, really? Uh, uh, what the hell? And then they put it in contact, use that in a sentence. Uh, what the hell is Betsy doing in the bedroom for, for so long? Digging for clams. Spelunking? No, nope, never heard of it. No. Nope. Uh, tickling my fancy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call it my fancy from now on. <laughs> my fancy? Nothing fancy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Flicking Fiona? Oh, no. Fiona's such an anti name no, for your puss. Uh, slugging the sister? What? I feel like just a like a fella wrote this, you yeah, know, just like a shit. just a fifty three year old fella, uh, damning the beaver. None of this me that's none of that makes sense. Shucking the oyster. Uh, mm. Hit hitting the kitten. That's fun. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. I like did you one. did you say one of your friends one time like last minute had to go on a date and she goes oh I just gotta go skin this cat. Yeah, skin the cat. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Would there be any way of finding out from a fella, you know, like ahead of the time? And do, you, do you like a bit of, a bit of fluff, do you? Before I take into this thing with the manscape 4.0, shout out. He's go jump out one time, send up. That would be we're hitting the Clown kitten, uh, twanging the meringue. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. This one's this one might be the best, and I haven't even read on <laughs> Denching the Judy. <laughs> That's that's good because it's fucking sh- doesn't even make sense at all. Pinching the princess. <laughs> <laughs> no wait, this is the best one. Rubbing the nubbin. <laughs> we do say the word nubbins a lot yeah, as we well. Do. We enjoy I, the I word know, nubbins. I don't know what it, what do we say that for? Everything. The nubbins. Everything is nubbins. So. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, they're good. Those ones are good. Let me see. I'll run through the rest of these. Uh, rubbing the nubbin, beating around the bush. Come on, twiddling my thumb. Come on, bitch. Come on, no shit. Surfing the slit. Uh, and that's it. That's tickling that's my it. fancy. That's the best one. Tickling, tickling your fancy. But I mean, I mean, it's. I, th- I think it's 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 so taboo. You no know, one has good names for it yet. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh. Just uh, now, we do see when we do see when I bring up the male one. There's gonna be fucking Just fifty thousand of these. Let me see. Agree and exit. Spanking the monkey. Five, five finger shuffle. Making bald. Making the bald man cry. <laughs> <laughs> what if you are crying and you are bald already? <laughs> Poaching your egg. Ugh. Shaking hands with Doctor Winky. Beating your <laughs> beating your mate. Blowing your own horn. Uh, Battling the purple-headed yogurt slinger. Shocking corn. Uh, I feel like I've done this before. Waxing your carrot. That's funny. Bur- Burping the worm is funny. Oozing your noodle. Oh, oh. These are all a bit gross, actually. Squirt hockey. Don't make sense. Funny, though. Smush, smush. Burping the worm. There we are. Wanking? Where do you get that out of? <laughs> Pocket pinball. Badgering the witness. <laughs> Celebrating Palm Sunday, uh, pulling, the, <laughs> pulling the Pope, liquidating the infantry, um, hosting your own petard. What does that mean? Uh, beef stroking off. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Jerking the gherkin, cooking cucumbers. Uh, much ago about nothing. Look, look how many there is for fellas. This just goes and goes and goes. Uh, crying in the toilet, tossing egg salad, hunting for relic to a practical. I mean, it's, it just goes on. It it just goes on. Um, buffing the vampire slayer. <laughs> I mean, shuffling your iPod. That's that's aged. Huh? That's aged uh, oh, terribly. IPods. Speaking speaking of aging terribly. Andrew becomes part of Jimmy Savile's dream team. First on BBC One, Prince Andrew becomes part of Jimmy Savile's dream team. Nightmare. First on BBC um, One. Uh, when have you to go? How long have we talked there for? 
This one? Uh, 53. 53 minutes? Are you out of here, Maureen, to do some influencing soon? I'm okay for a minute. You're okay for a minute. Jesus Christ. People, by the way, people trying to get me cancelled, sending me all these videos. It's just a disabled fella DJ on the bed. Okay. I did, I did put out a call for videos and people just sent me like... I mean, there's a lot of this. There's a lot of just people with learning difficulties doing stuff. Shows you what the mentality of the country is. Yeah, that's true. This will make Colin laugh. I mean, just iron in a toy car. I don't know what it is, but goddamn nightmare. Anyway, and this is just more of this. I can't. I don't know why. I, even, I shouldn't have bothered. Uh, I shouldn't have bothered. Here's, here's, what's this? Nah, no, I shouldn't have bothered. Uh, just <laughs> shouldn't have bothered. <laughs> I wanted to get your opinion on the inside of Drake's house because everybody's going like it's disgusting. Okay. So it's a lot of this business here. Um, but there's a lot of just odd choices, you know, like there's a room with just like too many chandeliers all over the gaff. Mm -hmm. So far, I like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this was the main bone of contention here. Can you make it bigger? That's what she said. Um, not really. It's been weird. Opening a new tab. Um, fuck. It was basically this picture where... <clears throat> He's had like uh, gold scaffolding put in and just kind of left oh. there. Wonder why. Don't know. It's it's out there, man. But that's it. What's his intention? Like scaffolding, like buying a load of checks and be like. Maybe he just wants people to like hang up his bits on it. Check out my scaffold. Uh, we could do with some scaffold in our bedroom. Do you know what right I mean? It's actually really quite <clears> hang a few though. jumpers on. You can get a load of those command hooks on that, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you bits on it. Yeah, he you spends know? like fucking 50 billion on his house and then he's yeah. running to B&M bars. Yo, you got those little... He's uh, probably it's been little, watching... It's like a little sticky hook that I put my sweaters on. <laughs> he's probably been watching all those like organizational, you know, TikToks and it's like, you know, go vertical, you know. He can hang all his nubbins. Hang his nubbins up. And his wires and his bits and his wee trinkets and all. Like that's... I like it. God's sake. Anyway, um, put so many like things on that coats. Nice rig if you want to do a gig there. You know, you could put like lights on it and shit like that. Maybe exactly. it is a good idea. I don't know. But maybe he just wants some curtain options. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I like it. Let's get it. What's been going on in our business life? Lavery's is absolutely on fire these days. Lavery's on fire. Oh a, yeah, we should probably talk about Lavery's. We had a great actually. week last week, didn't we? We have had the last two weeks, which is only two weeks, but it's like four shows, so it's loads. They've been some of the most iconic ever in yeah. the history of our libraries, I would say. Yeah, Adam Rose really over. Really good shows. Colin Murphy. Just in terms of like, just everything was great. Like the crowds have been good. Obviously all the acts have been really good. Mm -hmm. Like the green room mm -hmm. has been so fun. Like, I think there was like 20 something comedians in it last week. It is funny, but so, some nights in those... Um, in the green room you're like people like if you were just so quietly filming this oh my god people would love this like just so funny such like but it is genuine like such good energy as you know oh yeah wanky that science but you know everyone's just having a good time really happy it's great it's, so it's been really really good but yeah we're actually taking a little summer break we're taking a summer break, break. Um, well the, we're over the, it's over like the 12th in the next few weeks so most places aren't, aren't going on anyway and then obviously like there's Edinburgh Fringes and all sorts of things going on with a few other things planned. So we're just taking a wee mini summer break, basically. We'll be back with lots and lots of stuff. And we're actually also using the time to work on a lot of stuff for libraries and loads of other things we're doing, obviously, too. But big yeah, we're actually having, we'll be having a wee break. But next week is you have a Bomb Squad live podcast in libraries. And the buttons don't work. You and she and Todd are doing a work in progress. Yeah. So they're both like next week sold out anyway with those two shows. Then that's over the twelfth, and then we're going to start our summer break. So we will be off for a, you know a few weeks, but follow the page because there might be a couple of surprise little uh, yeah. things popping we're up. We're doing some surprise things, and yeah, and that's it gives it. us that like perfect time to like work on it now for when it starts back up again, and then that'll be us full steam ahead till Christmas and then we've loads of exciting Christmas things happening so nice so it's very exciting actually it's been and I'm going to walk into BBC with, with a machine gun and tell them to make a documentary but that's what I'm going to yeah. do yeah and we have a few things that we want to do actually for it don't we mm. Mm. keep your eyes peeled mm. you bastards 
and oh, get an old gosh. fucking ticket for my SSE show while yeah. you're at it. Uh, yeah, I know you never speak about it. I never speak because about anyone it. who comes up to you, you're like, oh my god, blah blah blah, Jeff fan, and you're like, are you doing any shows? Like I'm doing the SSE. You're like, fuck, are you doing the SSE? I'm like, oh, you never talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I need to talk about it more. I'm doing the SSE. I'm go, doing, doing Vicar the SSE. Street and the Madden Scottish dates and English dates and all sorts of business. Uh, and there was a girl outside Lavery's the other day. I was like, oh, I was going to go to a show, but it's sold out. And I was like, let me tell you something. It's not sold out. It's not sold out. Get yourself as many tickets as you want there, love. Good woman. Yeah. But yeah, it's going to be lit. And uh, SSC's going to be great. Got so many shows to run through the set and everything. It's going to be sharp AF. Party time. Yeah. And that's it. And we had a party for Aaron, didn't we? In Lavery's after his show. We it did. We did. We did an after party for Aaron in Lavery's. We did. Um, I was I was joking saying like I wish stand up meant as much to me as it does to him. But everything means so much, Darren. Yeah. Apart from he's not you know, a having a he's wallet not a, or being he's, he's not a, he's not a cold <laughs> he's not a cold jaded old baldy bastard like me. Although he might be dead, he had a weird pain in his head just recently. <laughs> <laughs> what we'll do is we'll get out of here and uh, we'll send him a message. Were you dead, bro? You dead, bro? No, the show like, was great. Very proud of him. He did a really good job at the waterfront. It was good. It was, it was a great, great job. It was a great crack. Mickey, or, you know, he announced the second. The place is on fire, man. Where the else would you get fire. it? Every comedian's goddamn yeah. killing it. I mean, see, for lovers this week, I have, uh, I have people because we're sold out. The amount of messages I got, like, please just release one, two more tickets. Please, I'll pay for like you know, 10 times the amount this is worth to get on it. Please can have a ticket. They said I that? Meant, yeah. Uh, people have been like, I For meant to buy ticket tickets price, last they can, week they can and MC. I didn't get one. And <laughs> <laughs> but like, I mean, I I've, I've must have had at least 20 messages of people just being like, please, is there any more tickets? But it's the, same, it's the same. And comedians. we don't, and that, this is our last week of a running lineup of comedians because next week are the two shows and then yeah. and I've had, a small break. I've had about four messages today from comedians looking on tonight. Yeah. And I'm like, what I'm going to do, just put on 15 people because everyone wants a gig. Yeah. So we will be back in no time, really. Um, so, yeah. So we'll hopefully get back. Although I think actually our tickets are probably live anyway until a good few months down the line anyway. So you can technically, if you know what you're doing, lots of people like always say like, oh, I'm coming over this date, this date. So you should be able to still buy tickets ahead of time now, even though we have a break. But For like September? Yeah. Okay. Well, you can buy all we'll the tickets. We'll post about that online. Around. But um, yeah. So it's exciting. Lavery's is. It's kicking off, but it's stopping. It's kicking off, but we're breaking for the yeah, summer. Yeah, but we have we, we some. But it's coming back hard and fast and throbbing. It's too hot. It's what? It's too hot. It's no, too no. hot for comedy, and everyone's in fucking uh, no, Edinburgh. And I'm also in talks about Edinburgh, everyone. guys. So keep your yeah, eyes, keep your go. eyes peeled. Get on my Instagram. Keep your eyes peeled all, at all times. From every direction, keep it peeled. Uh, right. Yeah, that's actually enough. When thing. we shut up, so Sorry. I can go. I'm sweating and about to piss myself. <laughs> what else? What else do you talk about? Influencing. Nothing. <laughs> yeah just tickle your fancy and shut up <laughs> <laughs> that's it it's in our vernacular now isn't it? it's our vernacular that's right it. we're about to tickle our own fancies my Good. my fancy is full of piss right now <laughs> uh, not, tmi guys my fancy is about to rupture so uh cheers for cheers for joining me. so disgusting <laughs> <laughs> cheers for joining me guys and yes. um thanks maureen thanks now and uh yeah, we'll get the air console down in here at some point so the back of my knees aren't like just wet fancies. Um anyway. Take care of yourselves, guys. Good luck and fuck you. Uh, we're there. Okay, goodbye.